Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to recover Windows 11 with one click. If you're getting fatal errors or some sort of problem with your operating system, I'm going to show you a way to be able to recover it and reset it back to the way it was before the problem happened. We're going to be using Omi's one key recovery. Now, you can try the demo out. It's not a free piece of software. You do have to pay for it, but it's not super expensive. But I'll also be showing you a free way of doing this uh, later on in the week. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and install it. I'm going to keep the file and download this file. And uh, once we've done this, we can now double click on it and get this installed onto our PC. So once this is open, what I'm going to do here is click on the run box here, and this will open up the program and start getting it installed. Click OK, and then just go through the motions here next. And we can then click on the next one, which is accept their terms and conditions. Click next and then install it on the partition that you want to install it onto and then just basically go through the motions here well that's now done what we're going to do is we're going to open up the program and take a look at it now this is quite useful because this gives you a uh, one key to push so that means basically you can recover windows with just one key uh, like f11 or something like that on your keyboard so you can see here we've got one key system backup and one key system recovery now what this software is going to do is be able to create a recovery partition for us and we're going to be able to use this to recover from if we have some sort of issue like malware or anything like that. So let's take a look here. We can back up system to another location or back up system to IOMI One Key Recovery. So we're going to do just that. Next, you can back up your settings here. You can choose compress, whether you want normal, high or none. I'm going to put normal. And again, password, you can password encrypt your backups if you wish i'm going to leave this all as default down the bottom we've got a scheduler here we can turn this on and we can make a schedule backup of weekly daily or monthly and we can set this for a one time only or once a day at a certain time or we've got intervals as well start time and end time and interval time right there so i'm going to leave this all as default here because i have no need for setting this up so let's go ahead and click next and once we see this here, you should see, make sure you've got enough space on your drive to make a recovery partition. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that you've got enough space on there. OK, so I've got plenty of space here. So what I'm going to do here and uh, we're going to see by looking at the advanced area here, there is uh, some space here that we can use. So I'm going to be using this space here and we've got plenty on here to basically create a IOMI recovery partition. What we need to do now is once we've got this done is click on the start backup and this will start the backup process. You can see this is where the uh, recovery partition is going to be once it's all finished. So let's go ahead and click on this. Now you may see, sorry, Windows AIK or ADK is not installed on your system. That's OK. We can download this and get this installed on our PC. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. We're going to click on the relevant link here. Uh, either the top one or the bottom one, depending on what operating system you're doing this on, because this does actually work on different operating systems as well. So we're going to be doing it on this one here for systems with Windows 8 or 8.1 or higher. So click on this and it will open up the browser and take us to a site. What we need to do then is download that software. So let me just quickly open this up. And this is the site here. And there is two links here that we need to look at here. The download, install, ADK, and uh, WinPE add-ons. Please check and click on here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And for the older versions, you can click down on the bottom there, Windows XP and Windows 7. You can click on those versions there. So we need to download both of these, the Windows ADK, and we also need to download the WinPE version, which is for our ADK as well. So we're going to download both of these and get these installed onto the computer. This one is the WinPE version, and then we're going to do the other one afterwards. Let's go ahead and go through the motions here and just install this, accept their terms, conditions, then click on install. And this is going to install all of the necessary files that this program needs to be able to create a, you know, a partition for us, a recovery partition. And of course, this will be a nice hidden recovery partition, so you won't delete it accidentally. And we can then start to push a key on our keyboard to boot to this. And you'll also see it on the boot menu as well. So you can select it if you want to uh, reinstall Windows that way. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. We need to install both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next one as well and get this installed onto the computer. 
once we've got both of these installed, everything should work fine. We should be able to run the program properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this installed now. So let me just click on next here. And what we'll do is we'll go through the same thing. This is for a different part. This is the Windows Assessment and Deployment Toolkit. And uh, we can now click Install. Now, you probably only need, I think, the deployment tools here, but I'm just going to install all of this stuff. But I think we do only need the deployment tools, but I'll just leave it as is, and we'll just click on Next and finish this off. So once that's all done, we can now click Close, and we can close this off and click Start Backup, and it should now start to work because we have all the necessary files installed onto the system. So let's go ahead and uh, watch the progress. It does take a bit of time, so be patient. I'll speed this process up, but once this is complete, you'll need to restart your PC, and the PC will then restart. And once this uh, starts to boot up, you'll see the new uh, menu system, which we'll have, which has Windows 11 and also our recovery partition. So we'll just get to this uh, screen here, and then you should see it. And you can now choose this if your PC is not booting correctly. Maybe you've got a, something corrupt with the system, and you should see something looking like this. So if you want to continue to boot to Windows 11, you can do, or you can enter the IOMI one key recovery, and this will then recover your system by clicking on this. I'm not going to go through that whole process because it just basically reinstalls Windows, and I'm not going to sit here and go through that whole process. But that is the key that you're going to push if you want to recover the system. You can also use a shortcut key on your keyboard to, uh, you know, start the recovery process with one key. And you can see here now inside our disk management, we do have our partition which will going to be used for our basically our recovery system. And that is basically how you can create one of those recovery images. I will show you a way to do it for free as well, but this is using a piece of software, which is quite easy to do. You can keep that recovery image updated as well. So as you go along, you can keep it updated as long as there's no infections or anything like that on your computer, which you're backing up to your image then you should be fine. And you can use it to recover your PC if it's not working correctly. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.